This is what we use to drill into your skull. This is the drill bit that we use, and it's actually a manual drill. You can tell it's got this handle here, and when we turn it, it makes the drill bit spin. Here's how we do it. First, you need to find the safest point of entry. So we measure 10 centimeters back from the top of the bridge of the nose, all the way back through midline, and then we go out to the right by about three centimeters. That marks an area called Coker's point. Usually it's called mid pupillary line. After we make our incision, we have somebody hold the head steady, and then we apply the drill just like this, and then we apply a little bit of force. We make sure that it's perpendicular to the skull, and then we begin drilling. Sometimes this needs to be done in emergency situations. We will typically do this procedure directly at bedside instead of going to the operating room because of the emergent nature. And sometimes patients are even awake for this type of procedure. All right, so I'm starting to get a little bit of resistance here. That's an indication that I'm starting to approach the innermost portion of the skull, which means the brain is right underneath. So now you gotta be gentle. And what I do is I take the drill and I twist it manually just like this until we are all the way through. And I pull out the drill just like that. And as you can tell, we have a successful hole without injuring the brain. Nice. So there you go. Just a little bit of bone dust. But there you have it. And that is how we drill a hole in someone's skull with a manual hand crank drill. <laughs>